Today we have episode number four of the Road to Prestige, level 100. So we're going for, I hate asking for this, I feel bad asking for this, but we're going for 1,000 or more likes on the video. You guys have been showing insane amounts of support on every video, but especially this series. So let's see if we can maybe hit 1,000 likes. Either way, I just appreciate you guys supporting me every day, regardless of if we hit that or not. I love y'all and just thank y'all for that. So going for a thousand likes if we hit it awesome if we don't awesome i just appreciate you guys being here feel free to subscribe if y'all are new on the road to 60,000 subscribers we had that before june 1st we're giving away of course 100 dollars. feel free to follow on any of those social medias if you guys want to use code twin on controlfreak.com for a little bit of a discount comment anything down below just maybe your thoughts on the prestige xp reward path there's already one or two people maybe even more i would i would assume actually more at this point but there's a few people handful of people maybe two handfuls of people who are, are already okay already level 100 on this reward path and just let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see multiple prestiges in like mlb 21 maybe they have something planned for this year too i don't know um but i just know call of duty will have like prestiges all the way like up to 10 or even 20 sometimes prestiges so i think it'd be cool to have like a prestige two or three or four or five you know i just think it'd be fun for those hardcore grinders to have even more to work towards i'm just curious about your guys' thoughts today i actually have a very specific thing i'm focusing on so i've been grinding like crazy off recording just kind of doing some stuff while i'm chilling in discord uh and, and watching twitch youtube videos pirates of the caribbean movies whatever it may be and i've been grinding out these programs i actually have all of them done except for the players league and jackie robinson so today i'm trying to get jackie robinson done if i can i want to get two at least two of these three done so i need 10 more innings in conquest with the rookie card i need one more triple and five more doubles and this is so hard for me i don't know what it is about this card but i can't hit doubles and triples so we're gonna do our best i'm gonna see what i can do and we're gonna try to get these done i'll show you guys what i'm uh trying to do for these but i want to try to get at least two of them done if we get these two specifically done or like this one and this one i'm gonna get the innings done no matter what uh if we get two of them done we'll be at 20 more which will put me at 73 out of 75 so we would just need to do one more and then we would have this program maxed out we're super close to this i think we're maybe two away from this one or something but we're super close either way and what i've been doing for this is with my team i've just been using like my normal team except jackie robinson leading off also it might be a good idea to maybe have him batting second and i'll show you guys why here in a sec but i've been going to conquest and then the usa map and i've been going to the steal fans face okay because i want to play the rockies and i want to be the away team. we are the away team no matter what but i want to play the rockies and uh so we're on the steel fans phase i go down to the rockies okay we play on rookie difficulty because i want to try to get doubles and triples with jackie i feel like it's going to be easiest to do that on the easiest difficulty and obviously we're at course field i go my number three starter because the rockies number three starter is a lefty and then i've been leading off jackie just to try to get him at bats because i'm, I'm kind of trying for the doubles right now um but for this game i'm going to have him batting second and i'm hoping nolan arenado can get a base hit i'll show you guys exactly what i'm talking about here in a sec okay so nolan arenado he's hitting a home run which is not what i wanted but what i want is nolan arenado to get on base whether it's a, a single or a, a double i will i like having him getting on base because then if i get something into the gap with jackie i can send nolan arenado home and it's more likely to get me a triple with jackie robinson please get down if this gets down it's a triple did it actually get down don't be a ground rule double let's go let's go my yo literally my first attempt at the video and we get that triple wow that makes me happy yo what okay awesome so now i can kind of continue into what i've been doing for this though so we just got the triple we, we literally got the triple we needed we got it done so what i've been doing here against the rockies in conquest is i've been having jackie lead off for the most part and in the first inning i just try to get as many hits as i can i try, if i can i try to get jackie another at bat because i'm not concerned about the innings right now i'm concerned about trying to get triples and doubles we just got the triple which is awesome uh, now we need five doubles and what I'm trying to do is get Jackie Robinson one more at bat in the first inning if he gets up to bat with like nobody down or something I'll try to get him another but I'm trying to get Jackie Robinson another at bat so we could go for a double if we don't get that then I go to the bottom of the first inning I pitch and then I quit out so we got the inning done 
and we just get to start over with Jackie Robinson potentially leading off again or whatever. So just trying to get him as many at-bats as possible while also getting the innings done because I figure if I'm playing one inning at a time, right, Like, and what I can do too, and I'm probably going to do the next game, is have Jackie Robinson lead off. If I get a double, awesome. Uh, and either way, if I do or don't, I will just, you know, try to get out. Maybe I'll bump with the next few guys and then try to get out of the bottom half of the inning. Just get that first inning done and quit out. So we're getting an inning done, and we're also getting an attempt with Jackie trying to get a double. So that's kind of what my strategy is going to be following this. I'm really hoping to get him another at-bat here in the, uh, in the first inning. If we don't, I probably will play the top of the second just because he's so close to coming up to bat. Like, say we get out with Rymel Tapia here. Okay, like, we just got out. We lined out. So now I'm going to finish off the first. So we get that one inning of gameplay in for that mission because we need, I think, 10 more innings we saw. And then I'm going to just get Jackie Robinson at bat because he's guaranteed in that bat in the top of the second. If he wasn't guaranteed one, I don't know if I would go ahead and play it out. But since he's guaranteed in that bat, I feel like we almost might as well. And... I don't know why I'm using strike zone for my camera angle for Conquest. I was doing it for, for some moments and stuff, and I just was finding it easier for, like, the Bob Gibson moments for some reason. But we're going to get Jackie another at-bat. And after his at-bat, whether it's a double, a single, a triple, an out, like, whatever it is, I'm, like, I'm obviously not going to get a triple. Uh, but whatever it is, we'll just quit out. Like, I don't think I'm going to finish the inning unless he's the final end of the inning or something, unless we already have two outs, and I almost might as well. So maybe I should. You know, I'm kind of talking out. This is why I, I, I like talking things out loud in videos and why sometimes I do that so much. is because I sometimes will realize stuff. Like, I've just realized that I can get out with the first two guys, like, just bunt out. And then Jackie Robinson gets in at bat, and then we can get another inning in the books super easily. Okay, that's actually seeming like a good idea for me. Nice. My biggest thing, though, when I'm trying to grind out these doubles and triples with Jackie Robinson is I'm swinging at, like, everything. Oh, please bounce off the wall. But I'm just, I'm, I'm swinging at pitches. I'm not getting p good PCI placement and timing sometimes, and it's, it's been costing me stuff. I will say my first hit with this Jackie Robinson, literally my first at bat, I was doing the Mother's Day Conquest, and I was doing a Steel Fans game for that mission, and I literally got a triple, my first ever at bat with him. So right there, I already had one of them. And then I was trying for, tri I think I got an, a triple. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh, I think I got a triple in... You know, just a random game or something. I don't even think I got it at Coors Field. And then when I've been at Coors Field, I can't get triples. This is probably like my sixth or seventh game here. Uh, I usually do one inning at a time. I didn't do a whole lot of them. Actually, maybe even less than six or seven. But either way, I'm not I'm not getting triples or doubles with Jackie. I'm getting singles or line outs, fly outs, stuff like that. And that's going to be two innings in the book. So now instead of finishing off the game, since there's no real point, I don't actually want to steal fans necessarily. So we're just going to quit out. We got two innings done with that, Jackie. And I just realized, too, I probably sounded super stupid at the beginning. I was saying that I was using my main team. I'm pretty sure with Jackie Robinson at first. Uh, but I forgot that I had the Rockies guys in this lineup because I was trying to get the Rockies innings for... I think it was Carlos Gonzalez. I think it was maybe the Carlos Gonzalez player program I needed Rockies innings. So let me actually... Uh, change my team i just need to remember to put um actually let me do this let me can i oh uh, we're, we're just gonna delete this squad or generate yeah let's just delete this squad and then duplicates this one and put jackie robinson in there we go yeah perfect so we're gonna do that i'm gonna lead off jackie i might as well and where is he there he is okay so i'm gonna lead off jackie and let's just check where we're at in the program So we're at 58, which is good. And so I wonder, let, let me, let me do some quick math. Okay. So I need two, seven, 17 more. So 105 minus 17, 98 would be 88. So I think I'm technically at 88 actually, my bad. So yeah, I think I'm at 88 on a 95 here. If I'm not mistaken, we need eight more innings five more doubles what i'm probably going to do here is just go in and show you guys each attempt uh for jackie robinson but what i'm going to do is just go into conquest go into steel fans and oh my bad wrong map i'm going to go into conquest go into steel fans and then lost my train of thought oh yeah and then try to get a double my first at bat if we don't get it that's fine if we get it fine and just you know try to finish out the first inning as fast as possible so Playing the Rockies, rookie difficulty. I'll show you guys the result of this at-bat. 
And please get over his head. Let's go. There's a double. Yo, why now that I'm recording am I doing better with these moments? Maybe I want to I, I want to not let you guys down or something. I'm not sure. But there's one double of five that we need. And I'm probably just going to bunt, honestly. I, I feel like that's the move because I just I want to I want to get to the next one. I don't I don't want to try to get Jackie another at bat in this inning. So we're just gonna do this. Jackie's gonna go home, and I think I'll probably see you guys for the next attempt. And if I remember correctly, I'm at I'm at three out of seven for doubles right now. I'm pretty sure. I want to say that's where I'm at. And that's not gonna be a double, is it? Yeah, dang it, man. And you guys might be wondering why I'm playing out the first inning and not like playing all two innings or three innings of the game. Like you, you guys might be wondering why I'm not trying to just get the innings done as fast as possible. And my thinking is that if I'm playing one inning at a time, by the time I get the doubles done, I should be pretty close to having the innings done, if not already having the innings done, by going one inning at a time. So I'm just doing this to try to, I guess, save as much time as possible. I, I would rather, you know, not play more innings than I need to. So, like, if I can have the doubles done and the innings done, like, at the same time, rather than getting the doubles done uh, way later than getting the innings done or something, I would rather do that. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope it does, but I just figure... I can try to be getting as many at-bats as possible while also getting the innings. You know, getting one inning at a time while while getting one at-bat per game, I feel like is at least decent. Because in, in a three-inning game, I'm probably only going to get two at-bats or something. And by the time I get those two at-bats, I probably could have already had three or four at-bats just doing how I'm doing it right now. Maybe. I don't know for sure. But I just I feel like I might have been able to, if that makes sense. And please be double four. Let's go. That's going to be double four of seven i think i want to say we have i want to say after this game i'll have five innings to go as well so three doubles to go five innings to go i'm pretty sure and hopefully we can get it done just our next three doubles in our next three attempts man our next three games is kind of what i'm looking for let's go home with jackie there we go baby it's gonna be a nice little double play and no nope, probably not dang it man i always hate having a, an unsuccessful attempt i didn't move the pci over towards the ball i just left it in the middle thinking it might be enough but we're still sitting at four out of seven doubles and perfect perfect base hit this happens a lot for me with jackie but i can't get a double i should just i should just keep going yeah i can't get doubles with him though man like i can get a base hit but i'm having trouble finding the gaps or getting it over a fielder's head to try to get the doubles right now still sitting at four out of seven and Jackie Robinson getting his fifth double. We're only going to need two more. One thing I will say is it probably could be a smart idea for me to just get the innings done. That way I can exit out of uh, of the game after my first, what is it called? After my first at bat. Like I, I can go into a game, get that at bat with Jackie, and then exit out. And, and just go into another one just like that. So maybe I'll just play this full game, get the three innings done. I think I might try to get Jackie Robinson another at bat here in the first or second inning. Maybe I'll just get one more inning in. But, you know, it can't hurt anything because we're, we're three innings away, right? So I, I need this inning, a second inning, and then a third inning. And we need two more doubles now with Jackie. So uh, it could take me my next two attempts. Say we get him another at bat, that'd be pretty sick if we could maybe get a second double of the game and only need one more after that. But uh, I just I, – I, I was thinking – about how I could make this more efficient, and I was thinking, hey, maybe I could just get the innings done and then exit down after every at-bat. That that might be a smarter way to go about it. Please. No, dang it. See, we're getting a perfect perfect, but I'm not able to get a double on it, so I'm sitting at five out of seven doubles, and after this inning, I'm going to be at one more inning to go. So I should probably, I think, just finish out this game and not have to worry about the innings. I think that might be the move. Maybe I should have tried to get Jackie another at bat in this game. Maybe that could have been a good idea. But either way, you know, after these three outs with Shohei Otani, we'll be one inning away. So it's not that big of a deal at this point. Like, if I, if I don't get the inning this game, I don't. If I do, I do. Like, we'll see what I end up deciding to do. I don't think we got it. Yeah, so... Still at five doubles. I'm going to just get this last inning done. This is the last one I need. I decided not to finish out that game. And from this point on, the good news is we'll be able to just, you know, get that at bat. Try to get a double. If we don't get it, we can just quit right away. We don't have to bunt and then pitch. So setting ourselves up in a pretty good spot. And we should hopefully have it done 
pretty soon. All right, we should have the innings done. We just got through the first inning of that game. We should have the innings done, which I think means we should have Jackie. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it means we got Jackie Robinson. I hope so. I hope we see it pop up here like, oh, program reward or whatever it says. Yeah, there we go. So we got Jackie. We got five. Ooh, five show packs as well. Nice. And I assume it's not going to say completed yet, right? I would assume not for this program. Let me just check it real quick. So program, player program. Oh, it does say completed. Here's the thing, though, man. Like, I'm at 73 out of 75. And on the... Wait. Oh. Oh. Do I need... I don't know if I need to be at 75 out of 75. I just don't know. Because there's new Jackie Robinson stuff coming out. On the 15th, I think it said. And so I feel like I should try to get two more points. And we would get that by getting two more doubles in Conquest. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and try in this video. You know, if, if it's really where we're wasting a lot of time and we're not getting it done, I might, I might be like, oh, okay, I can, uh, I can just do it on my own time or something. But I feel I, like, I don't, you know, that, that, did I skip a steal fans? I don't think I did. I hope not. And the, the, my, my point is, okay. If I don't get it done now, I'm probably never going to get it done. And since we're already doing this video, the point of my video is to try to get, you know, those three done. At least two or three, but I wanted to try to get all three done. I feel like we might as well do it now. I only need two more doubles, so hopefully we can get number one right now. We only have to do an at-bat, and then we get to exit out. So seems like it's going to be working out pretty well. Please, come on. Yeah, there we go. There's double number six, so one to go. And after we get the seven double, I'm probably going to go ahead and check the other programs you guys want to come along for that journey with me i'm probably going to check the other programs obviously not like the keith hernandez one like not the inning specific ones but i'm just going to check to see if there's any others that they might add content to you know like i honestly just check the programs and, and maybe go through them each and just see if i'm at like the max amount of points for each of them because I, I don't know if i will be uh can i do this one yeah so veteran difficulty 1v1 i just got the double on veteran so this is this is literally just making it go faster i don't have to go to the steel fans turn every time now and uh probably might after this one if, if you know that spot gets taken over but we're gonna try to get the seven double here on this attempt and hopefully not have to worry about this jackie robinson conquest mission ever again i'm, I'm interested to see though since on the 15th which is tomorrow for you guys two days from now for me i'm interested to see what the jackie robinson stuff they add is like is it going to be a higher diamond like i i'm just i'm interested to see exactly what the new stuff for Jackie program is going to be. There it is, baby. Come on. Please. Please. Nah, man. These perfect perfects are driving me crazy. Not being able to get it done. Please. Thank you. I finally get it done, man. I have been trying to get this last double done for like 20 minutes. I don't know how many attempts. It's taking me like probably one to two minutes per attempt. So maybe like 15 attempts or something. I don't know. But either way, man. Like it, it, it took me way too long. Let me let me finish out this half inning or like this this next at bat or something like to just try to guarantee that it counts. Um, but it, it's it's taken me way too long, right? Like I just I was I was getting base hits. I was getting perfect perfect singles, uh, or, or grounders and liners, but they were all resulting in singles. Like I wasn't really having a hard time getting hits. I was having a hard time getting it in the gap. I swear, if for some reason it didn't count and I'm at like six out of seven right now, I'm gonna be disappointed. But let's let's see. I'm really hoping, man. I'm really hoping that it's going to show 7 out of 7. I don't even know if I needed to do this, but I feel like I did. I feel like you need to have stage 2 max down. So, like, I'm glad I got it done. Like, now I don't have to worry about it, right? Now I don't have to worry about it. I'm hoping that it, it, it's good that I decided to go ahead and do this. So, let's just really quick check the Jackie Robinson player program. If this turn ever ends, there we go. Let's back out. Also, one thing, too. I've done every single Conquest map except for... My bad. It's taking a long time to load. So, I've done, like, all these. I have everything done pretty much except for i need cy young i need to steal three million fans on this one i need to get that card because it's a rookie card and then tim tebow i just need to conquer all the territories and literally i have three spaces to go one two and then the national stronghold for three so i just need to play an all-star game for this i need to play two games for this uh and then i should have pretty much all the conquest rewards obtained at least in terms of the cards if we go to player programs i have everything done except for the blake snell but let's see so we're at 75 and 75 i just want to see so i just want to make sure and if you guys if you guys want to check with me feel free you obviously don't have to i just want to check to make sure that i'm at max points for all these so 20 on a 20 50 on a 50 
20 out of 20. I think I should be. I think like these, if they're completed, but I just want to check to make sure, right? Like I just want to make sure that we have everything done just in case they decide to add more stuff like jacket. I want to make sure we're maxed out. It feels good to have it done though. 75 out of 75 for that. All the way done in here. Got the stubs, packs, reward, XP. Curtis Granderson at 50 out of 50. Carrie Wood, 50 out of 50. Jorge Posada, 50 out of 50. There we go. Good to see. Bob Gibson, 50 out of 50. Al K line, 50 out of 50. Andre Dawson, 50 out of 50. Keith Hernandez, 50 out of 50. And then this Blake Snell one. We'll get this done eventually. I'm thinking I should probably just uh, play versus the Rays on All Star Hire. Play versus the White Sox on All Star Hire. Get those two done. Get some White Sox innings in one of those games to get it done. And then these will come naturally from Battle Royale from online i can also try to go into an event game and get this done but we should have no problem getting it done maybe tomorrow's episode i'll play the rays and the white Sox and use white Sox players for one of them we'll just have to wait and see we're super close to prestige level 11 if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like subscribe comment anything down below feel free to follow on any of the social medias all that good stuff i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching hope you have a fantastic rest of your day i think i might have said that i'm close to prestige 11 i'm close to prestige 12 though and uh, I will see you next time. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.